Art Forms Originated in India, Part 1 Madhubani It is one of the most popular Indian folk arts, practiced mostly by women who wanted to be one with God. Characterized by geometric patterns, this art form wasn't known to the outside world until the British discovered it after an earthquake in 1930s revealed broken houses with Madhubani paintings. It mirrored the work of Picasso and Miro. According to William G. Archer, most of these paintings or wall murals depict gods, flora and fauna. Miniature painting These paintings are characterized by its miniature size but intricate details and acute expressions. These paintings stand out as humans are portrayed with large eyes, a pointed nose and a slim waist, and men are always seen with a turban. Fard originating in Rajasthan, Fard is mainly a religious form of scroll painting depicting folk deities Pabujiya Devnarayan. The 30 or 15 feet long canvas or cloth that it is painted on is called Fard. Vegetable colors and a running narrative of the lives and heroic deeds of deities characterize these paintings. Verli originated by the Verli tribes from the western Ghat of India. In 2500 BCE, this is easily one of the oldest art forms of India. It is mainly the use of circles, triangles and squares to form numerous shapes and depict daily life activities like fishing, hunting, festivals, dance and more. What sets it apart is the human shape. A circle and two triangles. All the paintings are done on a red ochre or dark background, while the shapes are white in color. Gond characterized by a sense of belonging with nature, the Gondi tribe in Madhya Pradesh created these bold, vibrantly colored paintings, depicting mainly flora and fauna. The colors come from charcoal, cow dung, leaves and colored soil. If you look closely, it is made up of dots and lines. Today, these styles are imitated, but with acrylic paints. It can be called an evolution in the Gond art form, spearheaded by Jangat Singh Shyam, the most popular Gond artist who revived the art for the world in the 1960s.